welcome back to my channel what's up i am jules julia thank you so much for watching today we have a new video and today it's a haul it's a little itty bitty haul that i ended up buying some few things online you guys we are in quarantine and online shopping is something that i'm like just like trying my hardest not to do because we don't want to get in debt knowing that we are in quarantine still anyways I'm wearing my Mr. Beast shirt. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going to go ahead and start with one of the stores that I love shopping to here and there. Other than Target, it's actually Victoria's Secret. Now, this is our pink section. Now, they came out with a lot of cool things. I've actually previously done their scrubs review to see if they're worth it or not. And I honestly still love to this day some of the scrubs because I bought extra of the scrubs, especially because they were kind of like going on clearance. So I still have like a lot of scrubs left that are brand new i ended up buying this one and i absolutely it wasn't for my skin let me just say it was not for my skin it was burning i don't know maybe because i did a recent treatment i'm gonna go ahead and try it again but the first time i tried it was a no-no this one is the coco and chill it basically has cannabis with stevia seed oil which is a calming sleep mask and i actually love sleep masks so i was like really intrigued to use this but it burned and I took it off. I was like, maybe it's just like a little sting, you know? And then after that, it just kept on going and I started fanning my face and it just kept on going and I touched my face and it hurt. And I was like, nope, we're washing it off. So I ended up washing it off and ever since then, I haven't tried it. But I do like the consistency that it is. And it does smell really freaking good. Look at this. It's like a nice milky consistency and it's like very refreshing. Like, it's a really refreshing sleep mask like it is a little bit goes a long way and it smells so freaking good next we have the scrubs now they came out with a lot of variety of scrubs i did just missed one i believe so because i wasn't intrigued of the item but we're gonna go ahead and smell this baby right up here this one is their apricot scrub now this one is an exfoliating for the body which it says it's supposed to smooth and radiate the skin with a sweet side of apricot seeds blends with sheer butter to buff away the dullness and add a glow finish. So I'm going to go ahead and smell it. Let's open it up. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow, this is actually really strong. It's so good. Like, it's actually pretty strong, but I actually really do like it. I actually can't wait to try it. With this one, I ended up getting this cutie one. This one is a mango butter. It's mango plus coconut, which is an ultra-rich body. I already have the coconut one, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I was like, mango butter? You know? Oh, wow. Look at that. You guys, this straight up smells... Whoa. This straight up smells artificial, but... It's actually very butter-like and set. It is very sweet. Like, like candy sweet. For those who like candy smell, this might just be perfect for you. It's actually pretty good. I like it. It feels really hydrating. So, can't wait to try this when I'm done up the shower. Moving on, we got this berry looking like. This one is the berry scrub. It is with, palm, with blueberry seeds with pomegranate extract. It's a scrub smoothie wash. I think they're funny with their names that they have. Very catchy. Let's open this up. Ooh, she, ooh did you guys see that? Oh no, this looks slimy. Let's see if we can capture it. Anyways, it's like, ooh, oh my. OMG, this one smells really freaking good. Oh my God, this one smells really good. So far, this is my number one. I love how it smells. OMG, are those weird lines? Hold on. I'm trying to figure out why does it do that. I don't know why, but let's go on. Wow, we look more toned. Okay, next we have this melon scrub. Now, this one catches my attention a lot more than anything else because it has watermelon seeds. And, oh wait, no, it's a melon scrub. It has blueberry seeds with acai extract. Then why does it have a watermelon in there? This looks like it. I really thought it was a watermelon. Doesn't this look like watermelon? It says that it contains blueberry and acai. What? Okay, 
I'm kind of bummed out because I thought that there was watermelon in here, but whatever. So let's smell it. Ready? Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I have very mixed feelings. Okay. At first, it smells like detergent. And then it kind of starts smelling a little bit sweet. I don't know. This one's actually my top one, you guys. Go get this one. This one smells freaking amazing. Moving on, we have this one, the bronze coconut. I actually really did like their sandy one that they had about a year, half ago, I think it's a year ago. And uh, this is another body. Oh my God. Smoothing scrub. It better smell like coconut. Oh yeah, she smells like coconut. Look at this. Definitely, there's like a big old hole. It looks like I'm missing a lot of product. It's like right here. So um, that ripped me off, but I'm okay so far. It actually kind of reminds me of the Dove one, the macadamia one. Kind of has that same color, the same smell to it. And it feels almost exactly the same. Moving on to the last one that I ended up purchasing, it is their avocado mask. Now, avocado has amazing freaking benefits, so I was excited. Now, this one actually came in first than any of the other ones, which was like mind-blowing because this one was out of stock for some reason. But this one is their avocado mask, which has avocado oil and oatmeal, which is like two freaking amazing ingredients. And it's purifying clay masks, so I'm excited to try this. I haven't even bought any of their clay masks after the whole sets that I have already, which I'm actually going to start throwing away. Because I don't need that many. Anyways, it is for purifying your face. It's a two complexion boosting ingredients for the double glow and makes your skin feel totally freaking soft. Let's open it up and smell this baby. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It smells exactly like the cooling one. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is actually the first one that they came out with, which is a chill out version. Let me see. <sighs> okay so they smell very similar so if you have this one and you don't really like the smell of it this one just smells a little bit more just smells a little bit less strong as the first one as a chill out one not my favorite smell honestly that one gives you a minor a minor headache for some reason which is just like bleh, which you know it is what it is. But I'm actually pretty excited to try because avocado, again, is good as well as oatmeal. I had a brain fart. Anyways, moving on to this one right over here. I totally forgot about this one. I thought I already showed it. It's the honey one. I actually already... Focus. I bought the honey scrub, which I was excited to try, which I actually already tried it, which actually is pretty good and I actually really like it. I was like, you know what? Let's do the honey mask. Like, why not? You know, let's go ahead and purchase it. So this is the clay mask and it is meant to be cute get clean and gently exfoliate with this minty fresh mask and scrub so it's two in one basically oh god this looks so weird and again i feel like i'm being cheated out because most of the product is like here to compare to this one was full i feel like i'm getting cheated out on this but this is like weird it looks really weird too the scent is very weird as well. It kind of reminds me of the pink one, which is in the bad of a smell. Their scents are kind of the same when it comes to the mask, so it's kind of like fishy. But anyways, that's that that I purchased from Pink. I'm pretty excited to try these two. These are honestly my top two. Go ahead and purchase these. These were actually $18.50, but they were having to sell for like, I think it was like five bucks. And I was like, I'm grabbing them. That's the reason why I grabbed it. And that's why I'm late at the game. Moving on to the next one. So I was already too excited for this one because I started opening. I haven't swatched it and I haven't seen it. But this brand is one of the brands that I actually really love. And he's throwing a whole theme out of Home Cella, which is Club Daddy. I'll put the Instagram here and put his Instagram down below. And he is the owner of Artist Couture, which is one of my favorite freaking highlights. And talking about that, he had a beautiful promo going on, which is on point which it was just like I have no questions for it 
Point is, he was renting. Not, I, I don't want to say renting. He was talking about what was going on with his social media and how these people were attacking him. And the code was, and the coupon code that he gave just for his Instagram followers was these hoes need to get checked. Which I thought it was a funny code, but it saved me thirty dollars, which is like mind blowing. Thirty bucks. That that's a good deal. I'm not gonna lie, that's a good deal. He 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 lend us a hand. His products are so freaking amazing. I love his lip gloss. I'm obsessed with his highlighter. I love Illuminate. That's like my baby. That's like my number one. I want to show you guys what I bought. I didn't buy a lot because most of the things were on like were out of stock because a lot of people won to the one I wanted, which is okay. We're gonna go ahead and start off with his lipstick collection. Now I only went ahead and grabbed two of three of them actually. I got his new ones that he just came out with, which is Saucy Gal, Power Play, and Adore Me. Now, I'm getting more into the nudes than anything else. I used to be a person who loves dark, which is like dark brown, dark red, dark purple, black. But I'm starting to kind of like maneuver into... Not maneuver, like maneuver, maneuver, like... like yeah i'm starting to change into more of a nudes and gloss and satins than matte which sucks because i have a crap load of mattes so that's not okay but it's okay and i actually wanted to get one but it was sold out and then i still want to get his um uncensored 2.0 which was um sold out and his nude palette which was <laughs> sold out so we just gotta wait until those come back in stock Anyways, we ended up getting those three ones, and let's see how they are. I'm pretty excited because I'll, I'm starting to get into new lipstick. Are these a twist, or are they a pull? Oh my god, do I not know how to open this lipstick? Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, she smells so beautiful. I don't really want to swatch it. Uh. Look at this one. She's so beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to swatch it. Screw it. Oh, darling. You are beautiful. <gasps> okay. Okay, okay. Moving on to the next one. Oh, my God. Christina will love this one. This is like her color. And then the last one. Ooh. I love how they smell. You guys, I got the perfect, the perfect trio. Look at these beauties. Mmm, perfect. No comment. Moving on to one of the lip glosses. I actually really like Foreplay a lot. But I was like, you know what? Climax is actually one that I've been looking at. And it's actually this pretty kind of like nudie color. And I was like, let me get it. I mean, it was on sale. Might as well get it. So I got it. Look at this beautiful pinky. She pretty. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of one that I already have from ColourPop, but it's not a lip. It's an eye thing with Jinky. And it kind of reminds me of the color Anastasia from the from this palette. It kind of looks really, it kind of looks like this one, but in a lip gloss form, which is like pretty cool, pretty cool. Then I ended up getting their glow powder. This is actually one of the last ones that I got, which is, oh, it's seal. Duh. It's in the color Lickable, which is a golden powder. Oh, hell yeah. She's a little bit too dark for me, but it's okay. A little bit might go a long way. makes me look like, especially since summer's coming up, we're about to be glowing. And then they gave us like this little cute little mini sample. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And this one is Broadway from their Diamond Glow Collection. Which is like a cute, like kind of like the climax, but more of a like pinky color. Look at that. You can see little pink ratios there. Honestly, Artist Couture is one of my favorite brands, especially in the Hispanic community. He got his lips on point. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have a good night. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because why not? It's free. And don't forget to share this video because if you guys share it, people see it. If people see it, people come and we become a bigger family. I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, thank you so much for hitting a thousand subscribers, you guys. We are slowly moving up the ladder. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow.